Good morning, Seminole Ridge. I'm Ashley Pellicone. Today is Wednesday, April 15th, and you're watching Hawk Headlines. As of this week, thousands of non-essential workers in Spain will return to their jobs as lockdown restrictions are partially lifted. Those who cannot work from home with jobs such as construction and manufacturing will return to work. Shops, bars, restaurants, and other businesses will continue to remain closed. Wisconsin held their presidential primary election last week. As of Monday, it has been announced that the Democratic Party took the state of Wisconsin. This has come as a shock to many Republicans as they were the ones who had blocked Governor Tony Evers' bid to postpone the election. In more local news, Palm Beach County commissioners have approved a $2.5 million contract in hopes of using a former correctional facility located near the South Florida Fairgrounds as a temporary homeless shelter. The objective is to move those living in Johns Prince Park to a safer location in hopes of preventing the spread of COVID-19 among this vulnerable population. Today's trivia question is, what unusual object was adopted as the official bird of Redondo Beach, California? We'll have the answer later in the show. Out of all of the students and faculty affected by schools closing down, it is safe to say that the class of 2020 was hit the hardest. Hawk Headlines reporter Lauren Plancarte has the story. One, two, three, In the midst of COVID-19, many people nationwide are being affected. One particular group at Seminole Ridge High School that's being hit hard is the class of 2020. One thing that's really made me upset is that a lot of my senior varsity flag football games have been canceled. And it just, it's really upsetting to, you know, think about that I'm never going to have my senior night. One senior, Rachel Clark, says the hardest thing she's had to deal with so far is getting the news that her last student television network competition has been canceled. I think for me, the one thing that I was really, really disappointed about was having STN canceled. Me as well as many of our other TV production students were just really, really disappointed about it. We were walking through the streets of D.C. just crying, and it was just a really heartbreaking thing to not be able to compete this year. Student Julia Barbado just hopes that all her hard work doesn't go unnoticed. I think that we've all worked so hard for 12 years, and that we definitely deserve those opportunities if we can have them. For most seniors, these last few months of high school was their final chance to say goodbye to the people that helped them get through the last four years. Being able to see all my friends, because I am going to boot camp soon for the Marines, and I really was hoping this would be like my last little like goodbye to them. Not only is this affecting Seminole Ridge, but students all across the nation. We're all in this together. For WSH Extra, I'm Lauren Plancarte. This week is Virtual Spirit Week. Today's Spirit Day is Workout Wednesday, so make sure to tag SGA in your workout attire. And don't forget, tomorrow is Throwback Thursday. Class elections will be taking place Thursday, April 15th from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Current freshmen, sophomore, and juniors can vote by going to the Students tab on the SRHS website. Be sure to check back later on our social media to see what your candidates have in store for you next year. Have you donated blood? You may be eligible for the One Blood Scholarship. Applications are available digitally for 2020 senior applicants. In order to be eligible, you must beat the qualifications as well as join the Blood Drive Google Classroom. You have until May 15th to submit. While there are so many things being canceled right now, your yearbook is not. Our yearbook staff says they will have yearbooks for everyone who ordered before school closed, including seniors. There has been no word yet on when the books will arrive, but the yearbook staff is excited about the book they spent countless hours producing. They expect to have more information by the first week of May. If there are any extras once books have been delivered, we will announce how and where to order them. The answer to today's trivia question, what unusual object was adopted as the official bird of Redondo Beach, California is the Goodyear blimp. Take a look at some of our featured furry friends this week. Well, that's it for Hawk Headlines. I'm Ashley Pellicone. Don't forget to send us your submissions at Seminole Ridge TV on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Have a great day, Hawks.